If you've ever had to list events on a WordPress site, whether it's a local workshop, online class, or a webinar for a client page, you've probably realized that there's no perfect built-in solution. The default post types don't actually cut it, and most free plugins look outdated or miss key features like recurring events, RSVPs, or maps. So in this video, I'll show you five event calendar plugins I've actually tested that stand out in 2025, what they do well, where they fall short, and which one I will personally use depending on the site. Number one, the events calendar. The events calendar is basically the benchmark for WordPress event plugins. It's been around for years and still gets regular updates and third-party support. The free version already covers most use cases. You can add events, venues, organizers, and show them in list or month view. It works with most themes, integrates well with builders like Elementor, and has a huge library of add-ons for extra functionality. Where it falls short is on the advanced side. Recurring events, weekend map views, or deeper filtering are only available in the pro version. And if you're particular about front-end design, you'll probably need some time customizing the CSS to match your theme. So if you want something dependable, stable, and scalable, the events calendar is the safest choice. Start free and only upgrade if you need those extra event views or filtering options later on. Number two, Modern Events Calendar. Modern Events Calendar feels more polished out of the box. It has clean, modern templates that fit most themes right away. And even the free version includes recurring events, grid or list layouts, and built-in search filters. If you upgrade, you get access to booking, ticketing, and integration options that work great for hybrid or online events. The main drawback is its complexity. There are a lot of settings and the plugin can feel heavy on slower servers. You'll also need the premium version for payment gateways and advanced layouts. But overall, MEC gives you the most design flexibility and if you are working on client sites where looks matter, this one will make you look good right away. Number 3. WP Event Manager WP Event Manager takes a different approach. Instead of one big plugin packed with everything, it gives you a lightweight core plugin and a library of paid add-ons. So you only pay for what you actually use. The free version already lets you create and manage events, allow front-end submissions, and filter events easily. It's also one of the smoothest to use with page builders like Elementor and DV. However, things like calendar views, bookings, and ticketing require separate add-ons. That can make the setup take longer and cost more if you need multiple features. Still, for freelancers who want flexibility and fast performance without committing to a big suite, WP Event Manager is a solid scalable choice. Start free and build up as your client needs grow. Number four, Events Manager. Events Manager is one of those underrated plugins that quietly does a lot. Even the free version includes recurring events, multi-day events, guest submissions, and Google Maps integration. What makes it stand out is that it also supports event registration and ticketing right out of the box. No separate add-ons needed. That's rare, especially at the free tier. The trade-off is in design. The layouts are functional but not pretty. You'll likely spend some time styling them to match your site. Some advanced booking features like custom forms, coupons, or extra gateways are also locked behind the pro version. If you need bookings or registrations from day one, Events Manager is a powerhouse. It's not the slickest, but it seriously gets the work done. Number five, My Calendar. My Calendar has been around forever, and it's still one of the most flexible plugins if you like control over how things work. The free version gives you recurring events, multiple calendars, and front-end submissions, plus a strong focus on accessibility and performance. It's also great for multi-venue sites or organizations running several event types. But the UI is a bit outdated and it's not as beginner friendly. You'll need some comfort with short codes or templates to make it look the way you want. The pro version adds features like permissions, multi-site support, and custom event access rules. If you're a developer or freelancer who likes fine-tuning everything, my calendar gives you complete control without the bloat. If you're just starting out or need something that works, go with the Events Calendar or WP Event Manager. If design is a priority, Modern Events Calendar wins on visuals. If you need built-in bookings right away, Events Manager is your best bet. And if you're kind of person who likes customizing everything, My Calendar will give you that freedom. No matter which one you pick, 
Start with the free version, test it with real data and only pay when you know exactly what you need. If this video helped you out, hit like, subscribe and watch this video next if you want to 3x your website performance.